welcome you on to part 8 of nuclei in this session we will be solving some typical problems on nuclei let me divide the problems of nuclei into two categories one binding energy type problems and another one is activity based problems in this let me start with the binding energy based problem in this question nucleus will be given mass of the proton mass of the neutron and mass of the nucleus will be given we need to calculate binding energy as well as specific binding energy. First of all, we need to think of which formula should be used to calculate binding energy. The binding energy formula is delta M into 931 MeV. First, we need to calculate mass defect. Mass defect is the difference of mass of the nucleus and mass of the nucleons forming the nucleus. When we get mass defect, it is to be multiplied by 931 MeV so that to get binding energy we know that the binding energy is the energy obtained from the mass defect itself so first we need to calculate mass defect and multiply it by 931 MeV in the similar way after that the question will be asked to like find a specific binding energy so what is the formula for specific binding energy binding energy divided by mass number right so this is a strategy how to solve a problem if the question is asked based upon binding energy let us go with the second uh, type of problems here the question will be based on activity right the activity problem uh, will be like this okay there are three again let me divide it into three types right here in the first type category the question will be asked calculate activity itself in the question nucleus will be given as well as its half-life will be given and we need to calculate activity first we need to think of what is the formula we need to use for activity what is the formula for activity a is equal to lambda n so first we need to calculate lambda, then n, then we need to multiply to get activity. So what is the formula for lambda? We know that it is related to half life. So how it is related? 0 0.693 divided by t half. Then how to calculate this n here, right? So that is number of nuclei. How to calculate that? So that is to be calculated by using Avogadro's concepts, right? So that we will be seeing when I solve the problems on this section. Okay, okay. let us go to the second type now here. here the, the second type of problem will be reverse of the first type, right? Here, half-life will, will be asked and activity will be given, right? Activity and uh, the nucleus will be given, right? The nucleus whose activity will be given as well as we need to calculate its half-life and also it can be accompanied by um, mean life also, right? So these two will be asked. The formula is, first we need to think of what is the formula for RT half now here, right? Half-life, so what is the formula here? 0 0.693 divided by lambda. What is the formula for mean life now here? 1 by lambda. Right. So our, our next step is we need to first calculate lambda to find t half and uh, mean life time here. Right. So what is the formula for uh, lambda? What is given? Just think it of. A is given. Activity is given. Half life we don't know. So we cannot use this formula for lambda. So there is unknown formula for activity where you have lambda. So what is that formula now here? A is equal to lambda n. So first you need to calculate lambda. So what is the lambda now here? A divided by n. First you calculate lambda and substitute in this formula to get uh, half life and mean life and this is how the strategy to solve the problems if the question is asked to calculate half-life given activity then here right so there is again third type of problem here both are given activity as well as half-life will be given so what is to be calculated now here the mass of the substance is to be calculated so just think it of where we get this mass of the substance to calculate mass of the substance you need to know n number of nuclei based upon the number of nuclei you can calculate the mass of the substance so, in order to calculate capillary n, so what we need to do, first uh, first of all, to, to know, to calculate capillary n, so where actually we get that uh, n in the activity uh, formula. So, what is the formula for activity? A is equal to lambda n. So, A already we know. So, we need to calculate n. So, what it is to be calculated first now here? Lambda. So, how to calculate lambda? As we know t half, let me use this formula itself. Lambda is equal to 0 0.693 divided by t half. By this, we calculate lambda and uh, we know a n, here, n can be calculated by calculating number of nuclei mass can be calculated so that is how we will be solving the problems on this third type right so in this uh, session i'll be solving four problems uh, one on each now here, okay let us begin with the first one now this problem is on binding energy the question asked is like this Calculate the binding energy and binding energy per nucleon. It is nothing but specific binding energy. We need to calculate in mega electron volt of a nitrogen nucleus. First think out which nucleus it is given, nitrogen. 
So nitrogen 740 from the following data. So what is given? Mass of the proton is given. In EMU, mass of the neutron is given. And even the mass of the nucleus is given. So this is the mass. We need to calculate binding energy, specific binding energy. Right? As I have already told you, binding energy formula is delta M into 931 MeV. First we need to calculate delta M, that is mass defect. Right? So let us solve this problem right here. Right? First of all, we need to think which nucleus is given. Nitrogen 714. Right. In that nucleus, what are its constituents we need to write? Right. Nucleus, that is nitrogen nucleus, consists of 7 protons and 7 neutrons. You know, 7 is the number of protons. If we need to get the neutrons, we need to subtract 14 and 7. Right. 14 minus 7, you will be getting 7 neutrons. Right. Mass of nucleus, that is 14.00307 is given. Let me write about that. Then, let me take the mass of the nucleus forming the nucleus. That is 7 into mass of proton right plus mass of neuton is mn how many neutrons are present seven let me multiply okay let me add these two now right seven and mass of proton is given let me substitute there 1.00783 plus seven mass of neutron is given 1.00867 we need to substitute it and uh, when we add we'll be getting with 14.115155 amu right so you can see the difference it's not equal now right that mass defect is converted into binding energy so what is that difference? Let me calculate. That is nothing but mass defect delta M, right? So when we subtract 14.1155 and 14.00307, we will be getting with 0 0.11243 AMV. That is mass defect. How to calculate binding energy? Mass defect multiplied by 931, and we will be getting it in MeV. Okay, mass defect multiplied by 931, we will be getting binding energy. That is 1.104.67. 233 that is the binding energy and next we need to calculate specific binding energy that is binding energy per nucleon that is binding energy divided by its mass number so what is its mass number here right 14 we divide it by 14 and we will be getting the specific binding energy and this is the strategy to solve the problem on binding energy okay now let us go more to the second one now activity based problem the question asked is like this half life of uranium 238 undergoes alpha decay is 4.5 into 10 raised to 9 years the half life of uranium 235 is 4.5 into 10 raised to 9 years what is the activity of 1 gram of uranium 238 sample so we need to calculate the activity and the mass is given that is that 1 gram of uranium uh, 238 sample right okay now First of all, what is given? Let us check it out. Half life is given. That is T half is equal to 4.5 to 10 raised to 9 years. But uh, we need to convert into seconds. Right? We will be doing everything in SI units. So it is to be multiplied by 365 days, 24 hours, 60 minutes, 60 seconds. If we multiply this, we will be getting this. And T half in seconds. Next, we need to calculate decay constant. That is lambda. As we know that the formula for activity is A is equal to lambda n. So first we need to calculate lambda. So what is the formula for lambda? 0.693 divided by t half. t half is given again. So if we divide it, we will be getting this number. Now, right? So that is a decay constant. Then we need to calculate n. So n can be calculated by Avogadro's concept. So what is that Avogadro's concept? Let us check it out. Which I have done in the box. That is Avogadro's concept. Now, right? So uranium 238 is given. Means in a 238 gram of uranium, how many number of atoms are present? Avogadro number of atoms are present. Or that is 6.023 to 23 atoms means this many atoms means that many nuclei will be present of course right so what is in the question how much uh, mass is given again one gram of uranium so one gram of uranium 238 we need to calculate number of nuclei that is number of atoms right so that is uh, we need to calculate so number of atoms in one gram of uranium 238 so cross multiply it and divide it by 238 we will be getting that number so we already got lambda as well as we got uh, capillary n right so if you multiply this we will be getting with the activity so activity A is equal to lambda n. Lambda is this and uh, this is the number we get. So if you multiply, we will be getting the answer here. That is activity, we got this number, right? So what is the assignment of activity? Back para. So whatever this, since we go, all, all the physical activities we took in assignment, so this also will be an assignment. There is nothing but back para. And this is the way to solve the problem on activity. Let us go with the third problem. Now let us move on to the third problem. Calculate the half-life and the mean life of radium-226 of activity 1 curie. 
given the mass of radium 226 is 1 gram 1 gram of radium is given here right and uh, 226 gram of radium consists of 6.023 10 to 23 atoms this is Avogadro's concept right so these many gram of uh, radium consists of this many number of atoms and we need to calculate uh, half life and mean, mean life so what is half life it is 0.693 divided lambda mean life 1 by lambda so first of all we need to calculate lambda right so let us check it out what is given there is activity is one curie curie is a unit of activity but not a sign it we need to convert it to vector so how to convert it to vector multiplied by 3.7 into 10 raised to 10 so we will be getting with activity 3.7 into 10 raised to 7 vector so we, will, we need to convert into si units so the answer will also be in si units right so in order to calculate lambda we need to calculate n first now here right we know activity a is equal to lambda n what is lambda a by n activity it is already given so we need to calculate how many number of nuclei present in a, this many number of grams of uh, radium 226 so we go with the Avogadro's concept so 226 gram of radium 226 consists of Avogadro number of atoms 6.023 into 10 to 23 atoms but in the question it is about one gram so we need to calculate how many number of atoms present in one gram of radium 226 so uh, we need to go with Avogadro's concept so we need to multiply this and divide it by 226 now here right if you do the number of atoms in one gram of radium 226 we will be getting with the 0.02665 into 10 raised to 23 so these many number of new atoms will be present in one gram of radium 226 so then we calculate with the uh, lambda lambda is equal to a by n activity given n calculated so we will be getting with 138 0.83 into 10 raised to minus 12 per second so when we got lambda now here then uh, we can calculate half life and uh, mean life half life 0 0.693 by lambda lambda we know substitute here we will be getting with the uh, 4.99 into 10 raised to 9 seconds mean life it is 1 by lambda lambda we know substitute we will be getting with the uh, 7.2 into 10 raised to 9 seconds by this we can conclude that mean life is uh, greater than what we say here half life right so this was how to solve the problem on now uh, Half life and mean life if activity is given, right? Now let us move on to the last problem of free player. That is, determine the mass of sodium 22, which has an activity of 5 millicurie and half life of sodium 22 is 2.6 years. Activity is given, half life is given, we need to calculate its mass, right? So, what is activity? 5 millicurie, but it is not the S on it, convert it to S on it first. So 5 into milli 10 raised to minus 3, 1 curie is 3.7 10 raised to 10. So multiply by it in order to convert into back color. So we'll be getting with 18.5 into 10 raised to 7 back color. So what is half life now here? That is 2.6 years. We need to convert into SI units, that is seconds. So multiplied by 365 days, 24 hours, 60 minutes into 60 seconds. So if you do this, we'll be getting with 8.2 into 10 raised to 7 seconds. So activity and half life is given. We need to calculate its mass. So mass can be calculated by knowing number of nuclei. So in order to know what is the number of nuclei, you need to know activity and decay constant. Activity is already given, but decay constant we need to calculate. So what is decay constant? Lambda is equal to 0.693 divided by T half because T half is given. If we substitute that, we will be getting with 0.0845 into 10 raised to minus 7 per second okay if you substitute in this equation you will be getting the number of nuclei that is n is equal to a by lambda a is given again lambda we calculated so we will be getting with 218.93 into 10 raised to 14 atoms now we need to calculate what is the mass of these atoms right so in order to calculate how much the mass of the sodium 22 consists of this many number of atoms now here right we need to go with Avogadro's concept that is 22 gram of sodium 22 consists of Avogadro number of atoms. So what is that line? 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 atoms. So how many atoms do we have? 218.93 10 raised to 14 atoms. So we need to calculate what is the mass of that. So this is the Avogadro's concept. Multiply this and divide it by 6.023 into 10 raised to 23. And we will be getting with the mass as 799.67 into 10 raised to minus 9. And the mass of sodium 22 will be in grams because we are taken in grams here so the answer will also be in gram itself right so these all are the problems which can be asked on the chapter nuclei thank you